Hello, today we're going to be talking about how to use superlatives and comparatives. These are the words that we use when we're making comparisons between two different things or when we're talking about the description of something in which we're saying this is the most or the least when we're talking in terms of absolutes we're trying to describe something. So the first example we're going to look at today is the sentence you see in front of you. My brother is the blank student in the fifth grade. So we have two options here. My brother is the most smart student in the fifth grade. We could also say my brother is the smartest student in the fifth grade. Now, which one do you think is the correct answer? The correct answer is, as you see, and as several of you commented, my brother is the smartest student in the fifth grade. Now, you may be wondering, how do we know when to make that designation? How do we know when we should use most smart versus smartest? Now, I'll tell you, to be quite honest, many native speakers, when asked that question, will tell you, well, you go with what sounds best. But that's not as an easy answer always. Sometimes it's a little bit harder. Sometimes you think, well, I don't know which one sounds best. How am I supposed to know? And that's something that, that's a really good question. That's something that we have to talk about. So how do we know which one to use? How are we supposed to determine, well, I should use most smart versus smartest? So there is, there are a couple, well, there are a couple tricks I can teach you, but there's no hard and fast rule. The general way to say it is that if the word that you're using is one syllable, like smart, smart is one syllable, then you're going to add smarter or smartest when you're making comparisons or superlatives. There are a couple of times when that rule doesn't always follow. However, generally speaking, that rule seems to work for us. So we'll keep going. When I was a little girl, I thought that my mother was one of the blank people in the world. Do we say most beautiful or beautifulest? Well, if you think about that rule that I just told you, is it one syllable or is it more than one syllable? The answer is going to be, when I was a little girl, I thought that my mother was one of the most beautiful people in the world. In that situation, the rule that I gave you works for us. Now, let's try this again. This steak is the blank piece of food that I have ever eaten. Is it the most delicious piece of food that I have ever eaten or the deliciousest? Now, the rule does work here. One of these sounds better than the other. And one of them is one this word delicious is definitely more than one syllable. So this steak is the most delicious piece of food I, I, that I have ever eaten. Our last example. The purple gladiolas are the blank flowers that I have ever seen. Are they the most lovely or are they the loveliest? Now, if you go with my rule, lovely is three syllables, so it should be most lovely, but is it? The purple gladiolus are the loveliest flowers that I have ever seen. It doesn't exactly follow the rule, and that's one of those tricky ones. Unfortunately, in English, we have words like lovely that just don't always line up with the rules as we want them to, and you're just going to have to pay attention and learn those rules. Now we're going to move on to another exercise. For this exercise, we're going to, you're going to see four sentences in front of you. You'll see them up on the screen as well, and we're going to look at each one of them. And you guys will have the opportunity to give an answer, and then at the end, I'll show you the correct answers. So make the answers in your, go, make an answer in your notes, and then we'll go over them each after we look at We'll look at them, all four of them, and then we'll go over the answers. I think that Jenna is blank than her sister. Is Jenna more smart, smartest, smarter, or most smart? 
We're not going to talk about this one just yet, so just make an A. Write down what you think it, the answer is. Is it A, B, C, or D? All right, number two. Your house is blank than mine. Is your house bigger than mine? Biggest than mine? Less small than mine? Most big? Remember, don't give me an answer. Just write something down in your notes. Number three. It would be blank to give up than to redo the assignment. Would it be more easier, easiest, most easy, or easier? All right, and your last one. Not only is she the smartest girl in our class, she's also the blank. Is she the kindest, the most kind, the kinder, or the more kinder? All right, now we're, make sure you have four answers in your notes. We're going to go over each one of these. Number one, I think that Jenna is smarter than her sister. Now, you may have heard me use a word earlier, and we've ta definitely talked about this word a few times, comparative. And you've also heard me use a word superlative. Now, this is a situation of comparative because we're making a comparison. We have two people, Jenna and her sister. And for some reason, I want to tell you that I think that one of them is more intelligent or smarter than the other. So in that case, we have to use the ER ending right here. We always use the ER or the word more when we're making a comparison. However, why do we use smarter and not more smart? Well, as if you remember, I mentioned earlier that we use smarter the ER ending with a one syllable word. Smart is one syllable. So we're going to say that Jenna is smarter than her sister. We can't say smartest because we're not speaking in terms of a superlative, which is where we're making an absolute statement that Jenna is the smartest. We're not saying that here. We're just comparing Jenna and her sister. So we're going to say smarter. And we don't use most smart because that isn't correct. All right, number two, your house is bigger than mine. So why do we say bigger, not biggest, not less small, or most big? Well, again, this is a comparison. We're comparing your house and my house. Your house is 2,400 square feet. My house is 2,399 square feet. So we're comparing. We have to use a comparison word. So bigger or less small? Let's think about that. Your house is less small than mine. Does that sound good? No. It's also just not correct. We don't say something is less small than another. We could say something is smaller. Your house is smaller than mine. But we don't say your house is less small than mine. We say your house is bigger than mine. All right, number three. It would be easier to give up than to redo the assignment. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of kids out there who thought that over the years. It would be easier just to give up right now and not keep trying. Now, the other options I gave you, easiest is a superlative statement. We're speaking in terms of absolutes. We are comparing two things in the sentence, giving up versus redoing the assignment. So we're not going to say easiest. We're also not going to say most easy because that's... A superlative. Although it's an incorrect superlative form, most easy, like easiest, is a superlative. More easier? We don't say more easier. You can say more plus an adjective, but you don't say more easier. You could say something is more easy. In theory, you could say more easy, although we don't. That's not the correct use for easier. And that's just something you've got to learn. We don't say more easier. We say easier. It means the same thing as more easy, and so we say it is easier. Not only is she the smartest girl in our class, she's also the kindest. Now, when I was writing this sentence, I'll be totally honest, I debated whether or not to put smartest in. I thought if I give put smartest in, I'm kind of giving you a hint. But I'd also, I also thought, you know, I've already used smarter up with Jen, the Janet sentence, so let's not do that again. So, not only is she the smartest girl in our class, she's also the kindest. Kind is, like smart, a one-syllable word. 
So we're able to say she is the kindest. So most kind would mean the same thing, but it's not the correct usage, so we can get rid of that one. Similarly, more kinder is a comparative. Here we actually are making a superlative statement. This girl, whoever she is, she is the smartest, the absolute smartest girl, the absolute kindest girl in our class. And so we're going to say kindest, not kinder. And more kinder is an incorrect usage. It's one that I've heard kids use, and so I thought I'd throw it in there because I know some of you may have heard that. But that's not the appropriate usage. We don't say more kinder. All right, does anybody have any questions? If not, we're going to keep going with this.